guys! Time to do some more fun facts. This fun fact episode is about chihuahuas! <laughs> Note the ears. <laughs> I had to join in in the fan. And why would I be talking about chihuahuas? Well, because I have two of them. Kinsey, come here. This is Kinsey. She is my eldest chihuahua. She is 13 and she is adorable. <laughs> Where's my snuggie though? Oh, we get snuggies on camera. So cute. You my pretty girl, you gonna sit with me? Okay, chihuahuas are a big part of my life because I have two of them. And they are big personality, big snuggle, big love whores. Like you're right, you heard me say love whores. Now, Kinsey is a applehead chihuahua. There are two types of chihuahua. There is a deer head and an applehead, and I have one of each. Kinsey is an applehead. She has the bigger round dome, the small little stout, and ears that stick straight up off her head if she's excited, but she's camera shy, so she's beat them up. <laughs> so she is the applehead chihuahua. My other chihuahua, Eva, can you give Thank you, Kinsey. My other chihuahua, Eva, here's Eva. She is a deer head chihuahua, and she can try to lick my makeup off. She has a more deer head like shaped head. So she's not as round. She has a longer snout as she tries to lick me, and her ears go more out rather than straight up. She's a little deer head. Are you a little monkey? Just a little monkey. Don't lick my nose. She is also camera shy, but she does better than Kizzy does. So these are my monsters. Yay! They're big personality monsters, especially this one. <laughs> but these are my love bugs. So what fun facts do I have about chihuahuas for you now that I've shown them off and Googled over them? I have quite a few actually, and I was a few of these, a lot of these I didn't actually know. Chihuahuas originate in Mexico, but they actually are dated back, and there are pictures of them dating back to Egypt. Yep. Cleopatra time. That means chihuahuas are like awesome like that. They have quite huge personalities, but eee, eee, little bodies. They have what is normally called little man syndrome. They think that they are big and tough when really they're not, <laughs> which I think is adorable. They are super expressive with their ears. You can generally understand how a chihuahua is feeling just from her ears. I find that they are more expressive than most other dog breeds when it comes to their ears. See, she's very alert. Hers are shaking because she is concerned and unsure about what's happening. Chihuahuas tend to shake a lot. That is big. People think they're always cold, which sometimes chihuahuas shake from being cold, but often they shake whenever they get excited, nervous, anxious. They tend to have a lot of adrenaline that runs through the system. And because their body's so little, the adrenaline causes them to shake a little bit. It could just be they're excited, scared, afraid, cold, nervous. All these things will make your chihuahua shake. So it's not just because they're cold or they're scared. They are the smallest of the purebred breeds. In fact, up until a while ago, chihuahuas were the only small breeds that were the tiniest until everyone started breeding their dogs with chihuahuas to make miniature versions, which are cute too. Chi pups are actually born with floppy ass ears and they are so bloody adorable, let me tell you. And they're about the size of a hamster, like literally a hamster. When I first got Eva, she was this and she had flappy little ears. And oh my God, did I wish her ears would stay like that because I love the big chihuahua ears, but a little chihuahua with floppy ears was just so bloody adorable. The Aztecs believed that the chihuahua used to be able to take diseases away from humans and heal them. So they quite often, Aztecs had them and they were, they were cherished as a sacred animal because it was believed that they help you live a longer life and a more healthier life. Chihuahuas are actually the smallest dog breed there is in the world, considering that they come as small as teacup chihuahuas. What are teacup chihuahuas? Teacup chihuahuas are the smallest chihuahuas that there are. So how do you get a teacup chihuahua? Well, you take the runts of two chihuahua letters, breed them together, and then ding, you get itty bitty little teacup chihuahua. They're super cute. Unfortunately, they tend not to be as healthy as the reg regular toy breed. They tend to not live as long, and whenever something intends to go wrong and they have to have surgery of some kind, unfortunately it's not able to happen because they're just so tiny that they can't operate on them. Chihuahuas can live as long as 12 to 15 years old, but some have been known to live well over their 20s. My two chihuahuas are living forever. Yeah, forever. I said it. Kinsey agreed to this like a decade ago, and Eva, Eva agreed to it too. That's how that works. Don't even try to burst my bubble, it just won't be cool. They're living forever. And they better because Kinsey is already 13 years old. So she's living forever because she's in the middle of that lifespan of 12 to 15, which is not happening. She's living forever. Many celebrities actually have chihuahuas. We all know Paris Hilton had a chihuahua. Marilyn Monroe had a chihuahua. I knew I loved her. 
Now I like her even more because she's my kind of a dog person. And in fact, there is evidence of Chihuahuas dating back as far as 300 BC. So they are perhaps one of the oldest dogs, maybe? I don't know, but they were around when Cleopatra, which makes them pretty cool. They tend to have really, really big personalities. They tend to be both lovers and fighters. At least my eldest Chihuahua, she's very dominant, and she does not care if you are a, wall a Rottweiler, a Bull Mastiff, a Pit Bull. She'll bite your face off and tell you she's the boss just because she thinks she's cool like that. <laughs> my littlest, Eva, she tends to be a security cat. She is likely to bark and run away from another dog and scream bloody blue murder even before it's come near her. Big personalities and eeny bitty little bodies. <laughs> they love to burrow under things. In the wild, they will sleep in underground or under bushes and such. So they do prefer to be covered while sleeping, especially my youngest. She loves to be covered with a blanket, curled up with you like literally little teddy bears and tend to be ginormous suck monsters, like suck monsters. Like they're gonna suck the love out of you every tiny little drop of time. <laughs> Other than that, they don't eat very much. I think I go through maybe, maybe $30 of dog food a month, if that. Between dog food and dog treats, that's pretty much it. Unfortunately, chihuahuas do tend to have bad teeth. This is well known. Both of my chihuahuas have lost about half their teeth. One from genetic gum disease, one just old age, unfortunately. They do tend to have bad teeth, so brushing their teeth on a daily routine is very important. They also tend to be notoriously hard to potty train. I found the thing that finally made it easy to get both of my chihuahuas permanently potty trained, and every once in a while they're still a mess in the house because, you know, one sick or something, like every animal. The only thing I found that helped is moving, actually. Both of the time Kinsey finally was done with puppy pads and everything, we moved and when we got to a new place, we just never put the pads down. So there was never designated her zone. Same with Eva when we moved from our last condo to this condo. Didn't put any new puppy down pads down, so there was just no designated place for her to go. So she just didn't go. Thank goodness. <laughs> so if you have a little chihuahua, be prepared for some bathroom struggles, unfortunately. Treats help. Eva to this day still goes to my mom's house, inside the house, even after mom takes her out, because she is just a little fart like that. <laughs> there you guys go. These are my fun, interesting facts I learned about chihuahuas, and some fun, interesting facts I know as a chihuahua owner. Kinsey's gonna come say goodbye. Bye, everybody. I hope you guys have enjoyed my fun fact segment. Comment below what other fun fact things you might like to know, especially if they're about my life or if there are things that I can find out about and we can have fun learning together. I hope you guys have a good day. Don't forget to click the subscribe button right over here if you think Kinsey's adorable, which she is. Bye guys.